We all use batteries in our everyday lives, most commonly to power things such as mobile phones and laptops. And we all know that it's really frustrating when they fail. For example, when a mobile phone ages, we have to charge the battery more and more frequently. In the future, we're going to use batteries for an increasingly diverse range of applications. From very tiny batteries to power medical implants, to much larger batteries that will power our cars and our buses. And when these batteries fail, the consequences can be catastrophic. For example, automotive battery packs can fail, leading to fire and explosion. And this can be extremely dangerous in a real world situation. We use a range of diagnostic tools to understand how batteries age, degrade and fail. Just like a medical doctor would use temperature measurements and x-rays to diagnose a patient, we use the same tools to diagnose batteries. We use super high resolution x-ray imaging to look at the structure of these batteries at the nanometer length scale. And that's hundreds of thousands of times smaller than this battery. We use advanced infrared imaging to look for hotspots in operating batteries. Hotspots can provide an indication of regions where the battery is going to fail. This adverse thermal behaviour can quickly spread throughout the battery in a domino effect that we call thermal runaway. A thermal runaway can lead to catastrophic failure. By understanding these materials at the smallest length scales, we can propose designs for new batteries from the bottom up. We're working closely with UCL Chemistry to develop the next generation of materials for safer, longer lasting batteries. The Science and Technology Facilities Council is one of the UK's seven research councils and we fund astronomy, particle physics and nuclear physics and we operate large scale research facilities for a wide range of research topics. The global challenge network that UCL is leading is going to be incredibly important for the future. It brings together the cutting edge facilities that STFC operates with world leading expertise from the UK to really start to tackle the problems that exist within battery sources. We're the first team to use these diagnostic tools to understand how batteries fail. And students at UCL are playing a pivotal role in this research. My involvement with the research project is to investigate the relationship between electrode microstructure and the battery performance of lithium ion batteries. It's a big deal and I would really love to be one of the people to you know, make an impact in such an area. I feel great working in this project, it's a really interesting one and it's not just poor scientific research, it's something you can actually employ in real life. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, the batteries are obviously quite important in modern day life and getting to use the thermal camera zones is a bit of fun. The project really kind of grabbed my attention because of the importance of it. It, it potentially could change the world and it's, it's nice to have an impact on it. We've been working with automotive manufacturers, defence contractors, and battery developers to translate this research into real-world applications. And in the near future, you'll be using these batteries in your laptop, your phone, and your car. I'm fascinated by how these microscopic events can have dramatic consequences. Work we're doing at UCL to optimise these batteries will have equally dramatic consequences, leading to prevention of invasive surgery, a reduction in greenhouse gases, and an improvement to air quality. Imagine a world where all the cars are electric, you have sustainable power generation for your home and you never need to replace a battery. The work we're doing at UCL will make that happen.